Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my new video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this corner vanity for my fiance. If you enjoy what you see, please subscribe and hit the like button and let me know what you think of the build in the comment section down below. I started off the build by cutting down 2x3s for the legs. I set up a stop lock with the height that I wanted, just under 28 inches, and cut all the pieces to length. Once the long parts were cut, I did the same with the shorter pieces. The last thing I did was cut down some 1x4 poplar. This is going to be used as the front of the vanity to make it look a little nicer and to help support the top and the mirror. I spray glued some sandpaper on a piece of scrap wood and used this to clean up the edges of the legs before I fastened them together with pocket holes. I got a new pocket hole jig for Christmas and decided to give it a go with this project. I made sure that I marked the sides that I wanted the pocket holes on an X so the nicer sides would be exposed. time to assemble the legs, I made sure that the pocket holes were hidden, so I made sure that one side was facing down and the other side was facing up. That way they would be covered by the floor and the top of the vanity. Now that the three legs were built, I started to assemble the desk. I took the longer piece of the 1x4 poplar I cut earlier and screwed it to one of the legs. I pre-drilled and then used some decking screws that I had lying around to attach it to the leg. After I attached it to one leg, I did the same to attach it to the others. Clamps really helped here by holding the piece in place while I pre-drilled and screwed everything together. to make sure that the vanity top was a perfect fit, so I took a sheet of red oak plywood and placed the surface I wanted facing up face down on the workbench. I then flipped the frame over and placed it on top of the plywood and clamped it in place. I traced the outline of the frame and cut it out using a circular saw. because I thought it would look so much cleaner without a seam. To do this, I made sure not to cut all the way through with the circular saw. I got as close as I could to the corner and then finished the cut with the coping saw and then cleaned up what was left. I put pocket holes on the bottom of the top of the tabletop to attach it to the frame and that was when I realized the pocket holes actually needed to be on the frame, not the tabletop itself. So I took the jig off the table and put pocket holes on the frame instead. I made sure that they were on the inside of the frame and not the outside.
completely assembled, I brought it inside to attach the mirror. I marked off where the holes needed to be and pre-drilled them. I then installed the mirror and moved the vanity in place where it needed to be. thing that I want to do is clean up the edge of the exposed plywood. For this, I just used some edge banding that I cut to size and ironed on. is how I built this corner vanity. Let me know what you think of the build in the comment section below and give the video a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching.